I'm Melinda, and I'm a fine artist. I started my studio 20 years ago in my hometown on the north side of Indianapolis. Teaching art and painting have been my full-time career. Now, I want to reach out on social media and bring my lifelong love to you. Please join me at The Artist and the Easel. Hi, my name is Melinda, and welcome to The Artist and the Easel. So you have the desire to learn how to paint, but you have no idea what kind of art supplies to buy. I have so many tips for you, so here's what you need to know. Do you have the desire to paint like the masters? Believe it or not, you have something in common with them. They all picked up a paintbrush for the first time. So here you are, ready to pick up a paintbrush and give it a try. When purchasing brushes, how do you know what's right for you? There are so many to choose from. For beginning painting, keep your selection simple. I recommend nylon and bristle brushes in a pack of various sizes. The difference between nylon and bristle is nylon is soft and bristle is coarse. The contrast between soft and hard allow different results for blending. Next, I recommend a palette knife for mixing and for painting. For palettes, I use disposable plates for convenient cleanup and they are cost effective. However, there are other options such as palette paper or an enamel tray. Soft vine charcoal is so handy to have in your supplies. You can draw on your canvas and easily wipe away your drawing with ease. And best of all, soft charcoal will not mix in with the paint and muddy your colors. For canvas, I recommend smaller sizes. The advantage to smaller sizes is that they are easy to frame and more cost effective. There are three main types of canvases, stretched canvas, canvas panel, and gallery wrap. Gallery wrap is stretched on a thicker stretcher bar and framing is not necessary. For now, I encourage stretched canvas because it is the most standard use. Acrylic paint. Like brushes, the options of paint are never ending, but all you need is the primary colors. You can learn to mix any color you need from the basics. I'm giving you a list of colors I use when I paint. And a helpful tip, please don't buy the cheapest paint, but you don't need to buy the most expensive either. Middle on the road works just great. And lastly, a spray bottle of water. Misting your paints on the palette and your canvas while you work is helpful to extend drying time and allow paint to flow easily. I am so glad that you watched this video. I hope that this inspires you to get started. To see more of my artwork, please visit me at melindaspearhoff.com. And I encourage you, please click like, share, and subscribe to keep these videos going. Thank you.